Hello everybody, Paul Lynn here talking to you today about living well and getting that head game right, philosophically speaking, psychologically speaking, to set you up for success in life, success in career, success in relationships, just making you a happy, highly functional person who is capable of molding the world around them in their own image and just being an asset and a benefit to yourself and everybody around you. That's what I'm here trying to do. Today, I want to talk to you about judgmentality, being judgmental, judging things and judging other people. And right away, when you hear the word judging, you say, Ooh, yeah, I don't want to be a judgmental person. I'm not a judgmental person. Well, I am. I'm a very judgmental person. I love being a judgmental person. I would never want to stop being a judgmental person. And today I'm going to try to convince you to be a more judgmental person. I just want to make sure that you're judging on the right criteria, that you're judging the right way for the right reasons because that's going to make your life better. Let me explain. When you hear people talking about judging, what they're really talking about is condemning. Don't show me any sign of disapproval. Who are you to approve or disapprove of me, of my body, of my work? of my personality, of my clothes, of my income? Who are you to either approve or disapprove of me? Why do you think that your approval matters to me in the slightest? That's all fine. That's all fair, right? Judging is not about expressing and giving approval. Judging is not about showing disdain and condemnation. Judging is not about trying to change everybody around you and make them into your own image. Judging is evaluating, comparing it to some kind of standard that you have and determining its worth for yourself. Okay? Judging is not about other people. Judging needs to be all about you. I'm a very judgmental person. Whenever I meet somebody, I judge them. I don't have to be talking to you for 30 seconds and in my head, I'm already rendering judgments about what kind of person I think you are, what I think you're worth to the world, what I think you're worth to me, whether I think you are good or bad or useful or a burden, whether I think you have a future, whether I think you're honest, I'm judging the hell out of everybody around me. Does that mean I'm treating them badly? No. <laughs> Does that mean they see my judgments or that they hear my judgments of them coming out of my mouth? Not most of the time. Does that mean that when I judge somebody and I find them wanting in some area that I reach over and try to intervene and take charge and tell them what to do and tell them how to improve themselves? No, but I have standards. I do. People who honestly just, oh, I never judge anybody. How do you never judge anybody unless you yourself have no standards and you have no value system and you don't know what's good and, and you don't know what's bad and you just are completely open to everything in whichever way the wind blows, you just kind of wishy-washy and go that way. And somebody comes up to you and this person's holding a gun in the middle of the night and not wearing a uniform or something like that. And even if they are wearing a uniform, uh, that, that's no guarantee of safety. But someone's coming up to you in the middle of the night carrying a gun 
and well, I don't want to judge this person. I don't want to judge this situation. Maybe this person just found the gun on the side of the street and they're coming to ask if it's mine. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to avoid this person. I'm just going to keep walking because I don't want to show them any judgment. Do you know many people that are that stupid? I don't. And if I did, I would run away from them because they're likely to get me killed as soon as they get themselves killed, right? If it's late at night and someone's coming up towards you with a gun, try to get the hell away from that person. Try to go somewhere with higher visibility. Try, try to get yourself into a defensible position. Hell, go knock on the closest door to you. You know, do whatever you can to try to get away from that situation. If someone's walking around carrying a gun in their hand in the middle of the night, chances are that person ain't up to much good. Judge, okay? Please judge for your own good. Judge the situation. Judge the person. And even if the next day you meet this person without the gun and this person tells you that they heard a noise, they saw somebody snooping around their yard, and they were coming out to investigate, that's why they had a gun, and you know, okay, there's a good reason for it. You misjudged, and now you're open to correcting your judgment. See what I'm saying? But isn't it nice to still be alive to change your judgment? And that's the thing. You'll get it wrong sometimes, and you'll get it right sometimes. Be open to that error and changing your judgment down the road. That being said, subconsciously, if not consciously, but certainly subconsciously, our brains have evolved to recognize patterns. And you might have a certain feeling toward a person and you say, I don't trust this person. Something about me tells me not to deal with this person, not to do business with this person, not to loan this person any money. You don't know what it is. You don't know why you feel that way. So what do you do? Society tells you don't judge anybody. So you say, oh, I'm, I'm, even though I have these feelings, I'm going to trust this person and believe in this person and accept this person and be kind to this person and lose all of my money to this person, right? Something you have to realize is a lot of that judgment, a lot of those feelings are coming from your subconscious. Conscientiously, whenever you think about this person, you can't tell me one thing that this person has ever done that suggests dishonesty to you, or they haven't done anything bad to anybody that you're aware of. But your brain is smart. Not everybody's brain is smart, but let's assume yours is. And it's recognizing patterns of eye movement. It's recognizing postures when this person's talking to you. It's noticing that furrowed brow when it, you know, that they carry with them all the time. It's noticing some of these patterns and it's detecting enough of these nonverbal cues to send alert signals out in your brain. Do you see what I'm saying? There is a subconscious judgment that your brain is performing right now and it's doing so to try to save you from trouble. It's doing so to try to help you avoid getting in some kind of situation that's going to cost you or hurt you or who knows what. So when you have those feelings, what am I saying? Am I saying condemn this person? No. But I'm saying don't feel bad about having your guard up a little higher because Chances are these feelings are coming from somewhere and it's coming from somewhere very logical and reasonable even if you don't understand it. There's a, a saying, I don't have to understand it for it to make sense and I don't have to like it for it to be good. If that, if that makes any sense to you. Just because I don't like something, that doesn't mean it's not good. That just means it's not what I like. And just because I don't understand something, that doesn't make it illogical and unreasonable. That just means 
I'm not up to that level yet. I just haven't taken the time to investigate and comprehend it. So these judgments, right? Conscientious judgments. When you intentionally are judging somebody and you're aware of it, that's based on your own standards and your own values. That's not a problem. That's a good thing. It means you have some standards and values, right? But don't let that judgment turn into condemnation. Don't let that judgment turn into worship and unmerited adulation where you're putting somebody up on a pedestal just because you've judged them in two or three areas and found them to be, you know, above adequate and above your level or higher than most people. That doesn't mean that they're going to be excellent and exquisite in all of these areas, right? So don't put this person up on a pedestal they don't deserve and don't treat them like crap and blow them off either. You judge someone and they're not up to par on a few different standards and values of yours. Okay, so are you telling me that because they're wanting in two or three areas that they don't have a lot to offer in the next 10? You see what I'm saying? Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. The bathwater's dirty, so you're going to throw all the bathwater out. The, take the baby out before you do. The baby's still good, even if the bathwater's dirty, right? So I meet somebody, and there might be two or three things that I don't like or I don't approve of of this person. But if I keep looking, I might find some value in some other areas that more than makes up for that and redeems this person by my estimation. So I'll still keep them around even if there's one or two things that aren't my cup of tea, you know? And same thing. Oh, there are a few things that I think are amazing about this person, but there are a couple of things that are just so bad that I can't even tolerate it. And even though I really respect and appreciate a few things about you, I'm sorry, don't come over for chicken dinner tonight because I'm not opening the door. You see what I'm saying? Judge. Something that uh, comes into my uh, world quite often is I'm a religious person, so I have my own religious convictions and values. And... All of the people around me, none of them really conform to my religious value system because they're not my religion, right? But here's the thing. I don't judge you by my religion. <laughs> I don't judge you according to the law of my God because my God is not your God. You serve whatever God or no God that you serve. Maybe you serve yourself or you're one of these hippies that serves the universe. Or I, I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> what I do know is I am going to judge according to my standards, my religious standards, somebody who is in the same religion, serving the same God. That person will be judged by those standards because they are playing by that same set of rules, right? You have a different God, a different religion. So when you're sitting across the table from me and you order the pig dinner and I'm sitting over here, I don't eat no pigs. I'm not looking at you saying, you're a bad person for eating a pig. <laughs> You're no worse of a person than me. You're following the dictates of your values. I'm following the dictates of my values. We're the same. The only standard by which I'll judge somebody religiously that is of a different religion than my own is when that person doesn't practice what they themselves preach. Do you see what I'm saying? When someone says, oh, I belong to this religion and, and we believe this and this. And then I see them acting very differently the following day. And I say, 
oh, I must have misunderstood when we were talking. I thought you said you were this and you believe that. But I must have got that wrong because now I see you doing this. And then this person's like, well, I mean, yeah, I know I said that. And yeah, I believe that, but uh, I don't always do it. Now I'm losing some respect for you, you know? I don't care if you're an atheist. I don't care if you're a Jehovah's Witness or a Hindu. I don't care what you are. You can be whatever you want to be, but just don't tell me you're A and you believe in A and then go out and do B because that's hypocritical. I, I don't care what your standard is, and I don't expect anybody to live by my standards. But when you don't even live by your own standards, what the hell kind of person are you? I mean, be honest. What good are you to anybody if you won't even live according to your own convictions, right? Now, now we're talking about a person who does not have integrity. And when it comes to judgment, there's a lot of things I can look past and there's a lot of deficiencies that a person can redeem themselves from. But when you don't have integrity, you're not going to be any good to me. I really don't want to know you. I don't want to be around you. Let's keep our interactions to a minimum, right? If, if you don't want to live according to your own convictions and you don't want to change your lifestyle, change your convictions. Stop calling yourself something if you're not willing to conform to that image, right? You know, don't, don't run around saying you're something that you're not. That, that creates a disparity. That maybe you aspire to be that thing. Okay, keep aspiring. And when you get there, then start calling yourself that thing, right? I teach PLC programming. If you haven't learned to program PLCs yet, don't call yourself a PLC programmer because you don't program PLCs. Call yourself a student. Call yourself an aspiring PLC programmer. Call yourself somebody who's on the path to becoming a PLC. Call yourself whatever you want, but don't say you are something that you are not yet, even if you wish you were, even if you plan to be, even if you're taking meaningful steps in that direction. Don't Say you're something you're not. Don't say that you believe A and then really you live by B. Don't tell people, oh, I'm not a smoker. And then I see you walking down the street the next day, puffing on a cigarette like an idiot. Okay? You know, not that I'm saying smoking is idiotic, but it is. Um, I'm just saying, have some integrity. Judge people. Judging is good. Judging is healthy. Judging keeps us safe. Judging keeps our morals and standards and ethics and things like that intact and puts them into effect. Like they say, birds of a feather flock together. If you're hanging around a bunch of people that, by my judgment, aren't worth much, it's a reflection on you. And I say, well, you're probably not worth much either because most of us associate based on our value systems. We judge. So don't judge people and then say, oh, I, I'm not judgmental. I don't like to be judged. Accept it. Embrace it. We judge. Smart people judge one another. Judge people. I want you to judge people. Just judge them for the right reasons. Judge them by the right standards. Don't judge somebody else by standards that don't even apply to them in the first place. Don't judge a person on their medical skills when this person is an attorney because an attorney doesn't practice medicine. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Judge an attorney by their skills in applying the law. Judge a doctor by their skills in applying medicine. Judge people by a standard that is applicable to them. Integrity, that's a universal standard. Judge anybody on their integrity. Religion, if someone's of the same religion, judge them by religion. If somebody's from a different religion, judge them by the dictates of their own religion. At least that's going to give you some insight into how devout they are, how sincere they are, and how much integrity they have. Okay? And 
Last but not least, and I've already said this, do not condemn people based on your judgments. Do not try to save people from themselves just because you've judged them to be inadequate in some way. If somebody asks for help, if somebody wants your help, oh, please, I'm here to say give it to them. Help as many people as you can, but don't try to sell them that help. Don't try to force that help on them. You're, you're only going to hurt yourself doing that. Okay, that's what I've got for you today. Judgment, it's a good thing if you do it right. If you like what I'm doing, if this is setting you up for success and helping you get your head straight and helping you be at peace with the world around you in such a way that you can perform better and function better and live a happier life, then subscribe and keep getting more of it because I got a head and a heart full of this stuff. I'm just going to keep dumping it out on the camera, right? So come back and get some more. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. If you hit like on your way out of here, that'll be great. I appreciate that as well. Take care. Stay happy. Stay good. Do your best. Be your best. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.